guys. Let's go ahead and get into today's review. Today we're going to talk about the Full Sin 6S1P 4000 milliamp Lion battery that you can use on your Chimera 7. I'm going to flight test this for you. We're going to take it out and we're going to field test it over the river, through the woods, and all the way to grandmother's house and back. Um, it, it does get a pretty decent flight time on here. We're looking at um, 10 minutes on probably a really windy condition up in the mountains uh, day. And if you want to get about 15 minutes, it's going to be a better cruising altitude uh, at, at a good height without a lot of wind. So um, you're going to have to pick a nice sunny day when there's not a lot of wind to get that full maximum 15 minutes. Um, also, you're going to you're probably going to get 15 minutes on the other Chimera, the original one, with a little less KV in the motors. This one has a little higher KV, so you're going to get a little less flight time out of this one. I, I tested this one out to about 11 minutes on a super windy day. So on a non-windy day, I'm expecting that you could probably get around 13 minutes maybe um, and if you're carrying a GoPro probably more like 10 minutes so uh, I'm also going to tell you in this video how you can get more flight time out of a 7 inch um, and, and upwards of 20 to 25 minutes in fact uh, so stick around let's do the flight test and after that we'll come back to the bench and we'll talk about this we'll talk about this uh, issue of a long range and the longest flight time and how to get it here we go All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. I just, you know, I made a nice montage for you guys, put it to some nice, happy music, and now we're back. And we can talk about this battery on the bench. We can get real about this battery. We can tell you some honest feedback about it. I did test it on a super windy day. Um, I did get 11 minutes flight time without a GoPro. It did come down at about three volts per cell. So you can actually run it down resting voltage to about 2.8 volt per cell. So um, on a seven inch, I feel like that's sketchy. I've done it on smaller long range four inch quads like the uh, Flywoo Explorer, for example. But on my Chimera, it's such an expensive rig that I really don't wanna test this coming back to say a mountainside or something where there's a cliff or a drop off. And with Lion batteries, uh, I mean, I got to give you some advice here. When you're when you're 
coming back, you want to make sure that you have a pretty good voltage above three volt and be close to your home point. Because if you're not, I'll tell you, these lions drop super fast. So you can end up on the downside of the mountain um, and, and you can fail safe pretty close to home because once these start to tank, they tank quick, a lot quicker than a lipo will. So, um, you know, you guys know that a lipo will kind of dump you on the ground. So um, the lions, they're great and they'll hold a long voltage. You won't see your voltage on your OSD drop very dram dramatically for, I mean, uh, 10 to 15 minutes is amazing. So, uh, but when they do get to that bottom end of the voltage on these packs, they will start to dive off a cliff essentially and leave you on the ground. So, um, you want to make sure that you're flying in an area with a Lion pack that you can kind of make a retrieval and get your quad back. Cause I'd hate to lose this with a GoPro on there. Cause it'd be like around a thousand dollars lost. So, uh, some good advice for people that are just getting into flying seven inch and the Chimera. Now, I, I think my, my go-to pack on my big 7-inch quads, I got to tell you, it's not 6S, really. I mean, I could run a 6S 4000. Um, if you want to run 6S, that's totally fine. You don't really need the extra power of 6S on a long-range quad. I, it probably will give you a long, maybe a little bit longer flight time. I, I need to bang good or one of these companies to send me a nice success 4000 pack so I can slap that on there. I'm pretty sure with a lipo that I can get uh, an upwards of 25 minutes flight time and maybe even carrying a GoPro. Now, I'm going to tell you how I got over 20 minutes with mine. I took mine out to the Oregon coast and I, I just slapped an old, I mean, Eternity. I'm talking Eternity here. So um, I'll put some better packs in the links in the video description for you. A 4S 5000 pack. It looks pretty big, but these quads have a truck body on them and they can really handle a long battery. Um, these are pretty wide and they just barely fit straps around this battery. I mean, we've got uh, six 18650s that are in a pack right now. And they're actually still warm from the flight test. Um, but a 4S 5000 pack, it's a little bit cheaper than something like a 6S 4000. So if you're on a budget, dude, grab a 4S 5000 pack and you're gonna get with a GoPro over 20 minutes flight time. That's, I mean, am I right? That's pretty awesome. That, that's, that's some awesome stuff right there. So if you're into long range or you're thinking about getting long range, um, go up into the 4,000 to 5,000 milliamp series uh, LiPo packs uh, with, with 6S and you'll get a, a super long flight time. Now, I'm going to test this battery again. We're going to go back out and we're going to do some more testing with this one. I want to see if I can get 15 minutes, like they say on the website, uh, out of these packs uh, because you're going to spend around $100 for a 4S 5000 pack or a 6S 5000 pack. This is just the going price for such a large battery. So if you're thinking about getting into long range, I hope you got some extra money laying around because it's not super cheap. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching my channel as always. And if you want to check out my full review on the new Chimera 7 Pro, I got it sitting right here and I'll put the video in the description of this video. So click on that, check out my full review and uh, there's tons of other videos coming out about this one as well that are gonna be coming on the channel. So please do subscribe. Good luck everybody on that DJI FPV drone giveaway. We're giving that away in the next 100,000 subscribers and I wanna thank you guys before I cut off of today's video and say thanks for hitting 180,000 subscribers on my channel. You guys rock and you're awesome. I really, really appreciate you and I appreciate your likes and comments. I'm, I'm always reading everybody's comments. So be sure to like this video, share it with a friend. Um, it is my research and I'm giving it to you for free. Uh, you don't have to buy anything on the channel if you don't want to, but my links are there if you want to grab one. Use my code. It's still good. It's BGDavis2021 and you can get 8% discount on your order or a hundred dollar battery that would actually be a pretty good discount so uh, use that code on your order and let me know if you grab one and let me know what kind of testing you get with this 6s1p battery from full send so i'm justin davis guys take care and i will see you on the next one